So good afternoon and welcome to a blustery Peterborough showground for Llama 2018. And uh, of course today we have you the exciting new range of Scorpion machines to show you uh, the first time for a public viewing uh, in the UK. So what have we got in terms of a model range? Uh, we have starting off at the entry level we have a six meter three and a half ton machine and then we move up to these machines that we see in front of us here. So we have a seven meter offering at 3.2 tons, 3.6 tons and importantly for us uh, really a new model in this size of chassis uh, is a 741 so a 7 meter uh, 4.1 ton lift capacity machine later on in the year we'll have some more models to add uh, with a larger frame but offering lift capacities uh, of 4.6 uh, and 5.6 tons uh, as we go on just like taking a, a quick look uh, inside the cabin um, you'll see a nice ergonomic layout um, the joystick that will be familiar to uh, existing Scorpion users uh, and of course in terms of drive line uh, we keep with that very power design meaning that once we've selected uh, the forward direction of travel all we have to do is press our foot uh, on the accelerator pedal which controls our speed uh, and then using our brake stroke inching pedal down here first 75% level of transport uh, travel uh, is going to be controlling the flow of oil to the wheel so slowing you down but only engaging the brakes at the very end so i.e. when you're on road work or really coming to a stop stop so not uh, nice and light to use uh, on your leg but also in terms of brake wear um, it's keeping a nice level of longevity uh, in brake life whilst we're talking about brakes uh, we'll move around the front of the machine so all our uh, medium-sized chassis machines that you see here today, so six meters uh, through to these, the seven meter machines here as well, now have inboard brakes as standard. So something that was previously reserved uh, only for the, the bigger models in the range, we now have a standard uh, across the board. And with that, we have uh, electronic handbrake. So that's with automatic actuation. So if we get out and turn the engine off, uh, that brake will come off, come on automatically. And equally, when we select drive and move forwards, uh, then it will turn itself off as well. Well. so no more mechanical lever to worry about nice and simple uh, and easier uh, for the operator if we move around the side of the machine one big improvement over the old model uh, you'll see is this very low pivot point at the rear um, so when we're up inside the cab when the booms lowered we really have a very very good level of visibility right over the bonnet um, so real big improvement uh, for the operator safer uh, and more comfortable as well Looking under the bonnet, so all these models that we've spoken about this morning uh, come with 136 horsepower engine, transversely mounted, uh, and if we look at the radiator pack here, it's just a single thickness of radiators. Um, so in terms of keeping the whole area clean, we're not going to get a buildup of dirt uh, within them. And as standard, we've got the SCS reverse fan on the back. So by one switch in the cabin, press that, that will switch it into reverse uh, mode and that will clear then any chaff that has accumulated uh, on the grills on the side uh, and on the top uh, of the machine. So really keeping nice fresh air breathing through that machine. We can even set a timer for that as well. So if you want it to come on uh, in increments, then that uh, can also be maintained. If we look at the engine pod itself, there's a solid floor uh, under the actual engine itself. And that means that all the air that we're drawing in uh, to the engine compartment has to come through these grills here. So all the air has to come clean through the grills through the rads and then you'll see you've got a bulkhead here which is obviously sealed when this is closed and uh, meaning that we can't draw any other dirty air um, into the machine once it's gone through there past the engine exits out over the rear so if we're working in pack houses or chicken sheds we're not stirring up dust a we're not drawing it in uh, but b uh, we're not chucking it out uh, at the uh, at the bottom as well as we said, in terms of um, transmissions, we can choose from an entry level uh, 30k uh, hydrostat transmission or probably more commonly in the agricultural sector, this here, the very power, um, which gives us 40k. Other improvements over and above the old range would be that we now move to 160 litre hydraulic flow. So we've had a 20 litre improvement uh, on where we were previously. Uh, and in the future, the 756, when it comes out, will go from 185 litres all the way up to 200 litres. So massive, massive performance in terms of hydraulic output. So that's it for my overview. Please come down and have a look at the machines. They're free and open for you to come and have a look uh, and sample and uh, tune in later on tomorrow uh, for some more updates on Class 2018. Thank you very much.